I've been trying to put together in my mind how my artwork makes sense in relation to Alzheimer's and dementia. And the thing I keep coming back to is that words cannot answer this question. You know, painting is a visual language. Words seem to fail me when I try to explain my art and words often fail people who suffer with Alzheimer's. I think we both occupy interior worlds that don't always match up with everyday reality. My aim was to listen to um, responding to questions about their life and hearing their stories and memories and free associations and weave them into some kind of visual picture. Josh is painting a, a picture of the past. Whose past? His? Before he lived and all? Well, if you'd be so kind to share some of your past, he'd paint your past. He wouldn't see it. He'd see it in his mind's eye. Oh, well. But we got to help him out. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's help him out. What do you think he should paint if he's going to paint Lula Pearl Jackson's past? She is in her late 70s, very energetic, vivacious, and spirited woman. Kentucky is a beautiful state, I think. I do too. Building some of the buildings in it, boy, are beautiful. Lula talked about Kentucky a lot, took a lot of pride in being a Kentucky woman. And I think a real southern bell. Did you ever ride a horse? Did oh, you? yes. I did not know that. I did ride horses. She mentioned horses a lot in her memories. And in every painting, I think because of the nature of the project, I tried to incorporate a bridge image. 